Hey guys, today I'm back with another video. And once again, Cliff the Wandering Woodsman is joining me. We have three locations planned today. And uh, the first one's gonna be heading towards, I'll spin around and show you, a reservoir down there with some uh, pretty neat structures. And behind that is a an abandoned train trestle. So we're gonna hike this path down to get down closer to it, check it out. And then you'll be uh, expecting to see two more videos after this one for the next two locations. So come along with me. Here, this is the Dunmore Number no. Seven Reservoir, and it's blowing pretty good. Not to mention too, it's about 10, 12 degrees out, so it's not really balmy. And you can see, hopefully, it looks like the lake is starting to freeze up. This is a uh, pretty massive up close. I've only seen it by taking a uh, feed town excursion along these tracks to go next to it. It's my first time being here up close to it. It's pretty impressive. I guess it's my turn. You can see we uh, hiked down the hill here and got a closer look at it. Might be hard to see because the sun's blaring, but uh, I'll try and show you what I can. You can see all these branches have a coating of white frost and snow. It's from the spray from the waterfalls. I 
I thought there was maybe a way to cross down here to get to the other side because that building looks pretty interesting. That's the pump house, but it looks like there was an old trestle right here, an old bridge that's been dismantled. So you can still see the, the foundations for it. So unfortunately, you can only admire it from this side. And although it's not really anything much to show you, it's still a nice location. It's pretty beautiful here with the white frost. I don't think the camera's gonna really pick it up too well, but take my word for it, it does look very nice here. We're gonna make our way back up towards the tracks and hike it behind the reservoir and find that old abandoned train trestle. And just adjacent to the falls, we have some beautiful ice sculptures forming here. There's Cliff admiring the icicles. Okay, now that it's quieter, I can tell you that that was a look at the Dunmore Number 7 Reservoir. We're back up on the tracks now, right up here. We have some more impressive naturally forming ice sculptures. And we're headed down that direction behind the reservoir to find an old abandoned train trestle. These look pretty neat. They almost look like miniature frozen waterfalls. And I've seen along, especially 81 here, the, the nearby highway. These form along the highway and people come with like buckets of paint and throw down it and it kind of cascades down. Makes for a pretty cool effect. Even catching a steam town excursion. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. It's one of the steam town excursions. One of the same ones I've taken before to find this reservoir. I think that's one of the holiday trains or Santa train, I believe. Well, we finally reached our second destination of this trip. A pretty cool looking, highly elevated train trestle. We get a closer look underneath and then we got to hike up the mountain next to it to get a look from topside. Okay, so we arrived. It's directly above us here and spans quite a ways. Get a shot from underneath here. That looks pretty neat with the light beaming behind it. Makes for a nice shot.
this is a very large, very high, and very long trestle. And the cool thing is, you got a great view from up here. And the distance there, the highway that's Interstate 380, that meets up with uh, 435. And part two of our video will lead us in that direction down below the interstate. I'm even nervous right here. <laughs> we'll see if I make it that far. <laughs> yeah, that's that's sketchy. This is gonna be short. The one tie there is kind of weak, so to your left there, you see it? Oh, that one. It's kind of shredded. Yeah, Sam, let me get your, uh, let me get a photo of you. Back to mama. Well, at least I can say I made it a few more feet. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I know. I couldn't do it any farther. Yeah, look at this now. This reminds me of the movie from 1986, Stand By Me. Where the kids are walking along the, the rails, they come to the bridge, and they keep going like this to feel for vibrations for the train. And they're about halfway across. Next thing you know, there's a steam engine coming barreling behind them, and they run full speed. And it looks very similar to this. It's a long bridge. And uh, maybe I'll show a clip of that right now to give you an idea of what I'm talking about in case you're not familiar with the movie. Okay, so that's going to wrap up the video here. That's going to conclude part one of our adventure today. Uh, was nothing too exciting, but stuff I wanted to show you and see for myself. Dunmore Number 7 Reservoir was pretty impressive, but it was hard to get down to it and see it. Not only with the amount of water that was flowing, but how noisy it was. It was icy, and we had no way to cross over the stream to get to the other side, but still glad I got to see it. But this was the highlight for me for this part, this train trestle. As I mentioned earlier, not 100% sure, but from what I've researched, this is part of the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad. Further up, where we're headed next is the, where the rail yard used to be, as well as some other unique items that we're going to be showcasing in the next video coming out after this. Anyways, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Cliff, do you have anything you want to say? I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> no, he made it further across than I did. Not by much, though. Yeah, I'll set, put, put me in a cave or mine, but not, not that. <laughs> yeah, me and him are on the same page with that. I'll go underground any day. If there was you know, a life or death situation where I had to cross it, I probably could, but just for the sake of this video, I'm not doing it. 
I'll go underground, but not on top of this. Uh, anyways, don't forget you can follow me on Facebook. And if you'd like to help support my channel, you can pick up some JP Videos merchandise, or you could donate to my Patreon page. You can find the links to those down below in the description. And also, if you enjoyed this adventure today, give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell to see more videos like this. Also, I'll put a link down below for Cliff's video, as well as his channel, in case you want to check it out. Subscribe to his channel. He's got great content, and we have a similar style of content that we put out. So make sure you check him out as well. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.